if you are experimenting and exploring with uh, daily movement practice in nature then choose sunset or sunrise the so-called photographer's golden hour just the way the light falls on things it just is quite inspiring it's not to say that you can't go out at any other time of the day but those two days are, those two moments of the day are particularly wonderful for light and given that we use light to see what you can see during those windows of time it has a kind of romantic feel about it so we're just coming up to the nine kilometer mark now i've just emerged from the woods and i'm heading on that straight beeline home it's been extraordinary it's been a lovely afternoon or a lovely movement practice i just want to say that's all it takes Go out of your front door, let it close behind you, and go see what you can find. Start with the simple act of walking and sit spotting. Stop to look at things, explore. Download an app like Leaf Snap and find the trees um, that you discover along the way, all the flowers. They're the kind of knowing just what the trees are brings to life your walk in a different way. If you go with, as I suggest you do, walking as the primary activity in your daily movement practice, then start with one or two kilometers. It won't be enough. You'll def definitely want to walk more and you'll be surprised how easily you can um, cover that kind of ground. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking now and enjoy the rest of my walk. But I hope some of that was valuable for you as you sketch out and you think about what a um, daily movement practice might include or entail. And I'll post some more about that as we go. I hope you liked this video. If you have any comments or questions or want to give me any suggestions about what to cover going forward, then just drop them in the comment section. I definitely read them and um, I'll use that um, feedback to structure what I do next. I've got plenty of ideas already. All right, enjoy your own daily movement practice. Start with walking and don't be shy to send me some snaps of what you discover along the way. It's from what we discover that we build on um, the kinds of movements that we can explore in our movement practice or in our movement adventures.